Hey guys, that's all I here with uh, um, New Vegas. We're gonna continue on. Yeah, yesterday a bunch of crates have been got delivered here containing two gross of the devices called cell phones. Is it okay if I ask what these are? Do they r really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What, what will Rob Co think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem. If it didn't, I bet you, you can may have a lot of I bet uh, you can have a lot, with, a lot of fun with these. Okay, worked low. <laughs> In light of the yesterday's unsettling events, all plays are hereby directed to give a thought reading law into Repcon's sexual harassment and workplace behavior policies. Also, while it, it may not since the state um, the in the employee handbook, an authorized use of the military hardware against fellow employees are is grounds for imminent termination. Necessarily. Yeah. Oh. Two. Okay. Hi, Rockwell Sly. We're sending back two grades of devices called Snipset back to you according to the manifest each crate hitting one gross 140 oh, of these as as a result of the employee's behavior misbehavior not mine one crate was opened and is missing five so boys sorry about that Seriously. okay okay um the stealth boys were returned that guy won't be happy hmm I want a stealth boy, but I'm just kidding. Do 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 do. I would have stealth boys here, so it doesn't matter. I don't want him to get mad. I don't know. I, I'm saving before I tell him, so he's not mad. Antler sings for stealth boys. Have you found them? Liar! The invoice said stealth boys here. Antler read it out loud to me. But invoice note said stealth boys were here. Why can't that note be true? What, Antler? But human could be lying. He's stealing the stealth boys for itself. <coughs> oh, Antler, you trust so easy. Your lucky day, human. Antler, believe you. Nikon will follow the new note to find stealth boys. Better be there. <coughs> Antler is sad. We night can go now, but there is fewer than when we came here. Yeah, because I killed a few. Because they were attacking me. And... Uh, I want that sword on his back. Look at that thing. I don't think I can be able to carry that. It's too fucking big. It's about the size of me. Oh, cloak, dude. Yeah, another cloak dude. Yeah, there's two cloak dudes. I miss a few. Okay, I got rid of those guys. The demons are gone. Well, oh, they're just nightkin. Oh, well. The leader is just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Right now, he's like Antler or something. Ooh, I, got, I forgot the guy's name now. He's talking about it. wait, Antler. <laughs> it's just like what the fuck. He has voices in his head. He's hearing voices in his head. Great. Cuckoo super mutant. Wait, can do they appear up here? Let's see. Yeah, they're just slower, um, yeah. They're probably just slower and they're not coming up. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. We got that mission done. And, um, yeah. We still have that mission to do with, uh, getting rid of the ghouls, though. Uh, super fear goals, at least. Oh, man. Okay, is he 
he's up here if I have our light. Is that weird ghoul with um Good morning. Is the way clear? Praise the creator and bless you, wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, wanderer. There is much to be done. Right. Whoa, what the hell? Hmm. Okay, it looks like we're going back to the basement. Hmm, XP kill for kills by companions. I know there's a, a new companion wheel. I want to try it out. At least have at least try it. In my opinion, I prefer not have companions, but eh. Eh. This place is a fucking maze. Do do do. I know a faster way to get there is this way. Do do do. Yeah, this part is long. Holy shit, man. I don't remember where we're bloody or... Is there blood here? I don't know. Why are they in spacesuit? Do I still have my spacesuit? I have no good. I have a bad feeling. If they're in spacesuits for a reason, I'm putting mine on. Luckily, I found that. Okay, where's the dude? Goes this way, apparently. <laughs> My guy looks limp. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right. I'm saving, of course I'm saving. I think I'm stupid. Just okay, he wants me to go over this way. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. <laughs> I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. Yes. The rockets will convey us to our promised land in the far beyond. Vision upon vision has confirmed it. This sounds so familiar. Sounds like something from the Bible. It sounds like this guy is like Moses and 
This is weird. Kind of funny, actually. I understand your concerns, friend, and I thank you for voicing them. But the Creator's will for us has been made manifest. I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly... Is it Mars? <laughs> it is a place of light and healing. And I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. After all that you have done for us, I suppose you deserve to know everything. When Chris came to us, we tried to convince him that he was human. But this only angered him. He seemed... lost. We decided to let him stay with us for a few days, over the course of which we learned that his technical skills far surpassed our own. It became clear that the Creator had sent him to us, to ensure the success of the great journey. Equally clear was that Chris should labor in blessed ignorance of his humanity, and his inability to make the journey himself. It is no coincidence that two humans have been vital to the success of the great journey. It is my belief that the Creator sent you, and Chris, to expiate the sins of your kind against mine. You are Redeemers both. Such is the Creator's will. Vision upon vision has shown me that, were Chris to accompany us, he would die in minutes. The radiation around the launch pad alone would kill Chris in minutes. The radioactivity of the far beyond is much stronger. Chris shall be declared the saint of the great journey before we depart. I hope this will ease his sadness. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. The game gets weirder and weirder and weirder. Where's this Christian? Hey there. Jason says yeah, that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the Great Journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time. From up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. I thought we were past all that smooth skin, but you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. <laughs> Typical human. I was human once, you know. Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Hmm. Nice <laughs> upbringing if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Hmm. I hope that place is Who here should maintain the Vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversom won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversom won't <laughs> mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. Obviously, it's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. Bald? You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive. And uh, we're going to continue this in the next episode, so see you guys later. Bye.